fitness fans, my name is Marcus Wallace with ZeroExcuseFitness.com and what we're talking about today is my new ebook. It's a free ebook that you can download called the APFT 300 program and what it is is a program to help um, U.S. Army soldiers max their PT test but once again it's just not for Army soldiers, for civilians too. If there's anybody who wants to prove their overall fitness, strength, um, endurance and be able to run longer, it's, it's for everybody. And ways broke it down, you're going to work out six times um, in one week and then with one day off. And like on Monday, you're going to be doing push-ups and sit-ups. The way it broke it down, you do two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, one minute of push-up, one minute of sit-ups, and so on and so forth. And then on Tuesday, what you're going to do is going to be a cardio day. You'll do like a five to ten minute um, warm-up and then you're going to run sprints. And the way the sprints is going to work, you're going to run... Um, you're going to run for one minute as hard as you can go, then walk for one minute. You're going to repeat that for 20 minutes. Then after that, you do another job for five or ten minutes to cool your body back down. And then on, on Wednesday, it's going to be a lower body workout using nothing but just your body weight. And you'll be doing plyometric stuff too to go along with it. And then on Thursday, it'll be a long distance run. And the way, way that goes, you're going to run 3.5 miles. Um, preferably outside, but if, you, but if you can, you can do it on a treadmill too. And you just run. Um, 3.5 miles in the shortest time you can do it and you make sure you write it down so you know where you're at and then on Friday basically what you're going to do is basically all you're doing is working your back your arms or whatever and your core the stuff we left out and then on Saturday will be the hardest day you're going to do basically you're going to give yourself a PT test um, like three times in that day what, what I mean what I say that is is that you do two minutes of push-ups two minutes of sit-ups and then run two miles but the way you're going to do that you're going to run it Back, you're going to do that stuff back to back. You're going to do two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, then jump right up and run two miles, then come back and then you rest 10 minutes, give your body a break, and then you do one minute of push-ups, one minute of sit-ups, and run one mile all back to back. Then you give yourself five minutes, break, five minutes of rest, then you come back and then you do um, 30 seconds of push-ups, 30 seconds of sit-ups, run a half a mile, give yourself about two minute break. Then you um, basically do, you do the planks and then the, um, the leg lifts, and then you just run on one 400 meter sprints, and that's the way the workout. That's the way the workout goes for the week. And you follow that program for about two months, and um, you should see improvement in um, your PT test. And the best way to do it is like if you know you're gonna start this program on a Monday, I suggest like a, if you haven't taken a PT test within a month, I would say like that Thursday, Friday, um, have somebody or give yourself. Um, a diagnostic PT test and see where you're at and mark it down. Say if you were at like, say you took the PT test on that Thursday, you got like a 245 or something like that, and, um, and then do it for two, do the program for two months and then take it again and see how much improvement. I guarantee you improve if you follow it. Also, we have a meal plan to go along with it, so you can't so you can't go wrong. So what I want you to do is once you start the program, email me and let me know your progress because like I said. Um, I'm, I'm 37 years old right now, and I can do 105 push-ups in two minutes. I can do 117 sit-ups in two minutes, and run two miles in 11 minutes and 44 seconds. So, you follow the plan. You follow the plan. You should see improvement. And the reason why I came up with this plan is that to show everybody how to improve their PT test. Like the same, the principles I use to improve my PT test is the same ones I used when I was playing competitive sports. Like my coaches always told me, like basically. Um, you have a game, you have to prepare like three to four times harder than what the game is going to be. Same thing if you was a boxer, like if you look at Floyd Mayweather, he has a, he has a uh, fight coming up, it's going to be 12 rounds. He may train three or four months going up to that, super hard preparing for that, preparing for that night. So when that night comes, it's easy. Same thing with the PT test. I work out every day super hard. So when it's time to take the PT test, it's very easy. The PT test is easy if you think about it. Because you do two minutes of push-ups, then you have ten minutes um, rest before you do the next event, and that's a, that's a plenty of time to recover. So if you doing this doing this um, program that we have, where you're doing two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, you're getting up and running. So when it's time to take the PT test, you're doing two minutes of push-ups. You're having a rest in between. The PT test is going to be a piece of cake. It's going to be like um, 10, 15, less than 20 minutes of work. So that's the mentality you got to use. Like basically, you got to um, train. Like anything, you got to train two times harder than what the PT test is. So when it's time to take the PT test, it's like easy work. So what I want you to do, um, go to zeroexcusefitness.com, go on the programs, um, click on the programs, and um, download the ebook and follow the program, and then um, send me pictures or send me feedback on how, how you progress. All right, and I'll see you next workout. Thanks. Peace.